Hey everybody, this is Mark from buyheatshrink.com and today I'm going to show you how to use various heat tools that we have for shrinking down heat shrink tubing. This is a basic heat gun. This is our VT1100 heat gun. It gets up to 1100 degrees. The thing I like about this one is it's got a little stand here. So you can just here and you can actually use two hands. So I turn it on. It's, at high, it's, a, it's adjustable so it's at the highest temperature. Um, basically, that's it. This is the temperature dial on here. It turns to go to low temperature and high temperature. This is our Eroda MJ950. It's a flameless heat gun. I've got a little deflector shield on there. So it actually does shrink around the backside. Always have to let that cool down, make sure the flame goes off before you put it away. This is our Arota Microjet. This actually has a flame on it, so you really want to be careful when you're shrinking the tubing that you don't get too close to the tubing. You can see I got it close. This uh, could be just a very, just like a cigarette lighter also. You just want to be really careful and not get too close. I purposely used yellow tubing just so you can see that it is actually charring a little bit, even this far away. It's, you can see it's actually charring and burning the tubing. So I, I don't recommend this, but if you're in a pinch, it's not really going to affect the long-term stability of the tubing. Uh, also, you wanna make sure you can actually see this flame is still on, even though I'm not uh, pushing down on it. There we go, just fizzled out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for